Um, Sam, so one of the big issues, I guess, in Silicon Valley is often that um, we see a lot of males building products that are solving issues that they face. Um, what do you think no code can do for women to build products to solve issues that they face? So I think um, the benefit of no code is it democratizes every field. So if you want to build a web app, a website, like we said, you have that kind of opportunity to just build it and build it alongside a community. Um, to Anytime you build a product, obviously, the more opinions and voices you have around that table, the better the product is going to be and the more it's going to help a more diverse group of people. So no code, just allowing people that opportunity to build a website, to build an application, to build AI, to build whatever it is they have in mind, that's no doubt going to bring more voices to the table and not just women but it's going to just really open up the field to everyone. And I think that's, to me, what is hands down most exciting about no code. Yeah, 100%, 100%, I agree. Um, what do you think the no code industry is like right now for women, Sarah? Yeah, I think um, it still kind of reflects the state of startups in like Silicon Valley and across the world where I think at least for um, founders who are women in no code, um, it's like around the same ratio. Um, I think it does come down to like getting more female founders because starting a no code platform requires a lot of code. Um, and so we do need more, you know, technical female founders in general. Um, and then, in, yeah, like women who do use no code tools in their jobs, I think it's still a pretty low uh, number because there are very few places to learn about no code right now. I think there's a couple companies like Webflow um, and others that do a good job of distributing, like in hosting webinars and whatnot. Um, but I think there could be more like centralization of like resources or even like communities that are targeted towards women. So uh, we could definitely work on that together. Yeah, 100%, 100%. I definitely agree.